What's up, uh, penguins? Today we're going to do a little AP Bell Math Minute looking at Hardy Weinberg. So the same question is yesterday in which we have complete dominance and the heterozygote is going to show the dominant phenotype. We need to figure out what percentage of the population in Generation 5 is heterozygous and we're giving it to the ones place. So if we highlight Generation 5 in our charts, we know what we're looking at. And we, of course, look at the formula. P squared is to be the frequency of our homozygous dominant. 2PQ is the frequency of our heterozygous. Q squared is the frequency of our homozygous recessive. P is the frequency of our dominant allele. And the Q is the frequency of our recessive allele. The chart tells me the number of individuals that are the recessive phenotype. So that's going to be our Q squared in terms of that's the number out of the total population. So if we're going to solve for generation five, we need to figure out, okay, what's Q squared? So we're going to take the number that we have, which is um, 340 over the total, and total is 660 plus 340 because that's the dominant and the recessive together. That's going to give us a Q squared of 0 0.34. Oops, now we got to use that chart that you know I love because we're looking for heterozygote. So if we fill in the chart, we know that Q squared is 0 0.34. To find Q, we take the square root of 0.34, which is going to give us 0. 5, 8. Then we do 1 minus our Q, which gives us our P, which is going to be 0 0.42. We're going to square that value to get our P squared. So that's going to give us 0 0.18. And then we just sub in 2 times my P times my Q. And that's going to give me my heterozygous, which is 0 0.4872. Now we want to, of course, round this. Um, so instead of it being 0 0.48, we're now going to round it to 49% to get us in that one place that we're looking for for the answer. So I hope that this was helpful. Remember that you feel pain was just as says, bye y'all.